NATO defined a red line for entering war on Ukraine's side. NATO may directly take part in Russia's war against Ukraine if Russian occupiers break through the Ukrainian Armed Forces defense line in the northwest of the country or in the event of a military provocation by the Russians against the Baltic countries, Poland or an attack on Moldova. An article in the Italian newspaper La Repubblica states that at the moment the collective Western security bloc has no operational plans that would involve sending troops into Ukraine. However, an assessment is being made of the likelihood of NATO's direct participation in the war if Russia crosses the red lines. The Western world may enter the war in Ukraine with troops if a third party intervenes, for example, in the event of a breakthrough by the invaders in the northwest of the Ukrainian state. This would create a corridor between Ukraine and Belarus. The tactical option has recently been recognized as probable by several allied analysts. Then Minsk would be directly included in the war. Its troops and arsenal would be decisive for Moscow. And their circumstance could only intensify defense in favor of Ukraine, the article states. The second red line in the West is seen as military provocations against the Baltic countries or Poland or a direct attack on Moldova. This is not necessarily an invasion that could happen after the attack on Odessa, but simply a military strike to test the West's reaction, the journalists noted. It is assumed that Russia may try to test the alliance's ability to react in a phase of possible confusion. The chaotic situation refers to the election season in Europe and the United States. The Kremlin may think that NATO is distracted, but the bloc will not tolerate such manifestations of Russian aggression. A driver died after a vehicle crashed into an outer perimeter gate of the White House complex, and the incident late Saturday was being investigated as a traffic crash, police said. The male driver, who was not immediately identified, was found dead in the vehicle following the crash shortly, according to a Secret Service statement, the crash appears to have occurred about 305 meters from the White House at the intersection of Pennsylvania Avenue in the southeast corner of the complex, near the Treasury, the Ellipse, and the South Lawn Diana statement posted on X. Secret Service spokesperson Anthony Guglielmi said there was no threat to the White House and no threat or public safety implications. Security protocols were implemented as officers cleared the vehicle and attempted to render aid to the driver who was discovered deceased, the Secret Service said. President Joe Biden was spending the weekend in Delaware, and the Secret Service said there was no threat to the White House. In January, authorities arrested a driver who crashed a car into an exterior gate of the White House. The man taken into custody after the crash was believed to have been experiencing mental health issues, according to news reports. And I think the rain's coming. Good night. I can't. I don't know what's going and on. I think the rain's coming. Good night. Good night.